Hello, and welcome to Building Naboo 1.3. Uh, next video will be Building Naboo Part 2, but since this is a little um, unofficially Part 3, um, that's what this video title means, is that this is technically Part 1 slash Part 3. Um, but next one will be part two. Um, so today we are going to be taking a look here at the, uh, top section of this mock. Um, and then later we'll take a look at the bottom section. Um, so as you can see, uh, basically we've got the cliff side edge of um, a part of feed and so we've got the uh, tan buildings um, we've got three towers to represent those and they of course have some sand green uh, roofs that we'll take a closer look at in a second uh, you can also see that there is a waterfall right there, uh, which we'll end up taking a closer look at. Um, in and amongst the uh, three buildings there, um, you can start to see the uh, rebels fighting with the Empire. Um, the idea is that the rebels are coming from that side of the mock. Um, and they are pushing the Imperials towards the cliff's edge. Um, and that the Imperial reinforcements have just arrived on their own uh, Imperial flash speeder. So taking a closer look at the fountain there, um, you can see the first of three um, prototype Vader figures that I've used in this. Um, technically you can see most of the second one, um, but I thought it would be a neat sort of design for, um, an Imperial Fountain, uh, to have Vader there, um, on top of what is presumably a Jedi, but could be anyone, um, and uh, I thought that would be kind of a neat design. Um, as you can see uh, from this angle, um, I've also included these uh, bush builds, um, as well as uh, these sort of containers and that flower uh, basin. I think that's what that's called, a flower basin. Um, flower bed um, of some sort uh, but those are all uh, builds from the complete saga um, I thought they'd be nice little references um, and there are more that you'll see as we go throughout the mock um, these containers if I get the chance I'll switch out the bottom for a, that part in dark bluish gray, um, as well as the tops in dark bluish gray. Um, but at the time being, I have yet to find um, any of those in my collection. Um, so for now, it is what it is. Um, you can see that I've tried to incorporate blaster shots. Um, into the mock, I've tried to make this feel as though um, you're looking at almost a still image um, taken during the middle of the chaos. Um, so I've used these uh, transparent um, one by one rounded bricks uh, as sort of a way to uh, project the lasers from the guns um, 
I don't know if it looks the best, but I think it looks fine for uh, what I'm trying to accomplish here. Um, if we go ahead and just pan up a little bit, um, looking past that fountain, we can see the two flash speeders, the Imperial and the Rebel. Um, both of which have sort of come to where they have to. Um, they can't really go much farther. Um, and uh, they're sort of colliding. Um, and you can see that the Imperials are uh, locking onto there while the Rebels are um, shooting at uh, the Imperial drivers. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that works out well. I think they look really nice together. Um, I think it's kind of a nice contrast, uh, seeing this sort of older, uh, vehicle model, um, that's been updated and, uh, modified by these two different factions. Um, I think that works well, um. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at, uh, the bridges. And so over there you can see, um, there's a repurposed battle droid, um, as well as the, uh, T-Rex from one of the, this year's minifigure series, um, combined with some other pieces. Namely, some, uh, the shoulder pad piece from, uh, the Buzz Lightyear set and, uh, the new Boba Fett chest piece. Um, then we have another, uh, mostly, um, commando droid. Uh, but he, um, I built a, uh, custom head on him. Um... Then we've got um, a female uh, Naboo security officer and um, over in the corner, it is really hard to tell in this lighting, hopefully I'll get a better angle, um, but you've got a, a, a Nemoidian there. Uh, which I thought would be a fun addition um, just to add in with all the rebels there. Uh, moving over to the Imperial Bridge, um, you can see sort of out of the top of this tower, um, I've used the scout troopers as the sniper figures. Um, it would be kind of cool to get those recolored in like light bluish gray um, to have an Imperial Sniper figure. Uh, but for now, they'll have to make do, which is fine. Um, then among the bridge, there's uh, more Stormtroopers rushing to action, um, as well as a, a Alderaan guard there. Um, I was using um, another one of those chest piece um, or those shoulder pad pieces from the Buzz Lightyear sets. Um, moving to the top of the towers, you can see there uh, that uh, I tried to incorporate different architecture on each of the top of the towers um, to, you know, make them seem as though they are different buildings. Um, and there's a little Easter egg with uh, the Baby Yoda um, there um, hanging from the pyre there, I guess. Um, but then if we uh, move over to the center pillar. 
uh, you can see uh, I've got that round uh, design in there. Um, that is also from the Complete Saga, that white section of the roof. Um, which inside there I've placed a mini kit um, from the Complete Saga. Um, but on top we've got um, an older Captain Panaka um, leading the rebel group. Um, as well as a uh, Gungan soldier. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought this was a really neat design for uh, the roof build. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just, I hope it's kind of neat for people to, uh, take a look at. Um, then moving on to the, uh, last of the, uh, tops of the towers. Um, we have this one, which is fairly simple. Um, I was running out of sand green slopes at this point. Um, so I had to make an interesting combination with tan. Um, I think it turned out pretty well and definitely gives it more of a unique architecture style. Um, and then on top we've got this, uh, rebel here who is using, um, the resistance helmet combined with a couple of those uh, Buzz Lightyear pieces, mainly the wings and the shoulder pads. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen Lightyear, I don't intend to, but uh, a lot of those more dirty uh, pieces, they work pretty well for uh, sort of Rebels in Star Wars. While we're here, um, I wanted to just sort of comment on the architecture of the buildings. Um, I ended up using a lot of tan masonry brick, uh, because that looked the best. Honestly, I tried a plate design, um, and I tried to break it up a little bit by using uh, dark tan plates, um, but then ultimately that was looking more like Tatooine, and so using this, uh, it was a lot easier to uh, add, like, foliage onto the sides of the building, um, which was really good and really makes it stand out as more of a Naboo rather than a Tatooine. Um, I wanted to sort of capture the, uh, elevated, um, sort of openings to buildings that, uh, Naboo often has, um, at least in the games. Um, uh, so I think I accomplished that pretty well, um, uh, by just making them, uh, three bricks higher than the regular ground, um, the regular ground, I used um, a combination of Nexonite shield pieces as well as dark red um, tiles and then uh, dark bluish gray 2x2 two two jumpers. Um, and I think that came out pretty well. Um, I think it breaks up the ground. Uh, just enough to give it an interesting design while not being too distracting. Um, the lights uh, there, um, those uh, two lights are uh, builds that I tried to take straight out of the Complete Saga. Um, they are not perfect one-to-one -one recreations, however, uh, they are pretty much as close as you're going to get without some really uh, complicated building techniques. And I think they turned out well. I used the new 
uh, satin trans clear uh, color for the light um, because I think that's pretty much the closest that I could get um, to them uh, as they look turned on in the game and also when I'm using the regular trans clear for all the lasers um, I wanted to have something that would set it apart um, so now we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the interiors of the buildings so starting from the last tower that we were talking about and uh, we'll just move down from there um, you can see in this building uh, we've got a rebel sniper um, here sort of blasting out into the distance um, and you can see a little bit in the shade there uh, is Mando um, just as sort of a little uh, Easter egg I guess um, and then um, moving over you can see uh, the back of the figures on the rebel bridge there um, there's a little bit of a better look at the uh, uh, Nemoidian there um, but we'll go ahead and we'll move uh, down to the main floor and then uh, make our way across uh, so you can kind of see inside uh, we've got uh, this rebel uh, sort of looking over this chest of uh, crystals maybe they're kyber crystals maybe they're not um, that's entirely up to you um, on the wall over there uh, I put up one of the uh, Knights Kingdom shield pieces um, there are lots of like murals and stuff in Theed. I figured that would be kind of a neat little way of incorporating that um, into the build. Um, then we'll go ahead and we'll move across the street. Uh, past the Rebel Flash Speeder and uh, into the center tower here. Um, and as you can see, inside the center tower is where we've got the rest of the Vader prototype figures. And I think it looks kind of neat. Um, I've got them kind of posed in this little uh, to be or not to be. Um, I don't have a metallic silver... Um, or not metallic silver, a flat silver um, Anakin hair. If I did, um, I would probably have used that on just a flat silver head. Um, but I think this accomplishes it. Um, I think it's a fun little detail. Um, and of course, you've got more uh, rebels inside there. Um, then we'll go ahead and move up um, inside of which you can see um, another Gungan and more rebels um, but not much else um, it's a pretty blank room um, then if we move all the way up to the roof um, you can see a little bit better that build as well as the uh, mini kit inside um, but then we'll go ahead and we'll just move over to, uh, the final tower. Now, the final tower, uh, I sort of walled off this section, um, not quite realizing, uh, that that would block off, um, view. I wasn't really thinking of the mock being shown, uh, from this angle too much um so we'll take a look um in a second from the other window where you can see into there um but first we'll go ahead and take a look down here 
um, at the uh, main level. And it is difficult to see, um, mainly because the uh, trooper is sort of in the way. Um, but you can see a little build that I tried back there for um, sort of a hologram table. Um, this building is the narrowest of the three. And that was mainly because of the fact that I wanted to incorporate this balcony um, on the side here. Um, I think the balcony turned out well. I think the balcony turned out well here. Um, and uh, if we go ahead and we'll uh, raise this back up, we can see I also, as as far as foliage went, um, I did want this building to be sort of the cleanest of the three, um, given that it is sort of our Imperial Headquarter uh, building. And so from here, uh, we can go ahead and get a better view of the inside of that tower there. Um, which there's not much to see, um, namely we've got two Imperial officers um, and they're seeing a uh, red Palpatine hologram, um, presumably uh, telling them that Palpatine has died um, and uh, that the second Death Star has exploded um, something of that sort, uh, but I thought it would be sort of a neat little, uh, sort of angle to show the Imperial officers of this battle, um, in there. I may change out their faces, uh, to try and give them more of a panicked look, um, but I think for now that works. For now, um... That is really all that I uh, have to say about this section of uh, the mock. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I, I look forward to sharing the, uh, the rest of the mock um, with you guys. Um, for now, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I will just show you one other part from the rest of uh, the mock. Uh, this is probably the only other part of uh, this mock that I can show without giving away the rest of it. Um, but, uh, so yeah, this was a little sort of teaser for... Um, what's to come. I tried to build um, sort of one of those like Naboo cow things from episode 2. Um, I don't think the head came out super well. Um, I may retry that. Um, but I think the rest came out fairly well. And uh, yeah. Alright, that's uh, going to be it for this video. So uh, bye bye.